Hi, and welcome to New Studio HD version 1.2, the exciting new multi-track audio app for recording, playing, editing, and mixing with loops and effects. So first I'll go down to the loop browser and drag up this drum loop. Drums, bass, some guitar stuff. You can see the loop browser down in the bottom left-hand part of the screen and the metadata attributed to the loop on the lower right-hand side of the screen. Now I can edit the loops, change their length, change the length of the loop, take it from an 8-bar loop to just a 4-bar loop. I'm just changing the length of all my loops. Copy and paste my loop. Alright, so now I'll go in and add some vocal parts again from a loop library. Then finally, this kind of uh, percussion part. Just like Looptastic, the uh, percussion loops are color-coded in a dark gray. Bass parts are color-coded in green. Instrument parts like guitar and keyboards are color-coded in blue. And vocals and effects are red. So now we'll go in and use volume automation with the fader to fade in and out that little uh, percussion loop that we had in there. And you can see the volume automation as that sort of a yellow uh, transparent block on top of the track. You can see the fader move. Now I'll start throwing in some effects like some flange on that rhythm guitar part. I'll mute the other track so you can listen to it. Now on the XY touchpad, I'm automating the uh, flange effect. So you can see the uh, automation move on the pad. I'll add some more effects. Bring some pan in for the uh, vocals. And again, I'm still looping. I haven't had to stop to uh, reintroduce the automation. I can just keep layering and automating in loop mode. Maybe I'll go in here and uh, throw some delay on that guitar. And you'll notice now I didn't hit the record button, so I wasn't recording an automation move. This is just a static move, so I selected an effect, put it on the track, create a setting, and then hit the hold button. So hitting the hold button is kind of like creating a preset for your delay like I did there. So I just copied and pasted my, my whole set of that four bar loop across all the tracks. So I had all the tracks pasted a second time. The loop control bar also works as a editing tool. Now I'll record a new track here on track 8. This is the first take. In studio. Now I'll do another pass on the same track. This is the first take. Second take, actually. Now, a third take. This is the first take. Second take, actually. Third. In studio, one point two. So if I click, I can see all my different layers of the three takes, 
and I'm hearing them simultaneously on the same track. Each of the eight tracks is deep and can be layered to give you up to 24 tracks of audio. This is the first take. Second take, actually. Third. In studio, one. I can you stutter at it to get some really crazy effects on that dialogue. Third. Two. I'll mute out a bunch of the tracks. This is the first take. Second. Third. And there you see the stutter automation, that little SS, for the stutter stepped effect. This is the first take. And you see the automation going on on the pad there. Now if you don't like your automation, you can just drag the automation off the screen, like you saw me do right there. This is the first and re-record it. Third. Or you can just keep recording on top of the same automation data to update it. I'll turn all my tracks back on again. And then we'll throw some effects into the new master effects section. So here we have our reverb. So again, I'm just, I'm not recording an automation move. I just created a, uh, a preset reverb setting by selecting reverb, putting it in the master uh, effects slot, making a choice on the XY pad as to a setting, and then hitting the hold button. There's a pop-up for the master section, just like there is for all the individual track sections. So if you have more than one effect per track, you can select which one of the effects you want to affect. And just like track automation, you can of course automate the effects on the master. So there you saw my uh, automation of the low pass filter on the master effects section. So just like the effects on each track, you can automate the effects on the master. Plus you'll notice that uh, we will automatically adjust the audio to any tempo. I'll just go back to my projects and name my project. And I'll take my Wacomix and I'll just export it as a stereo AIFF file, which can then be taken back through iTunes new shared documents so that I can throw it in my iTunes playlist or continue to work with it to maybe use some mastering software or something like that. So that's Studio HD version 1.2 with automated effects, master effects, more effects, over 13 effects, including reverb and new pan control and audio paste.